But you know what's one thing that's been sad to me my life growing up in the church? So I'd be at a lot of cool events and you'd hear people share and talk and you would see people rally and want to go do something for Jesus, but then when it ends, people just get back to their normal life. They just, they go back home and then they get caught up in their job and school and the nine to five. You got to remember it and continue to live out that calling because a lot of times we don't actually take ownership of it. It's, it's on someone else. Well, guess what? Someone else is, is going to go live out the Great Commission because God is calling you to something special. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a pastor, if it's a teacher, if it's a missionary, if it's just someone that serves at whatever it is you're doing right now, but you're called to be a part of it. There's a picture that I stumbled across, and it's one of times 100 most influential images of all time. And it's the picture of this young girl. She's on her way from her village to a feeding center not far away. And she's so malnourished and she's moving so slow that this vulture is waiting to attack. So the young man that took this picture and he was told because of some of the sicknesses in the areas, don't touch anybody, don't do anything. And so he didn't, he didn't, he did nothing. Because apparently the cost was too much. So he left, he went back, the New York Times published this photo in 1993. In 94, he won the Pulitzer Prize for this photo. Four months after this, he chose to end his life. You see, every single one of us, we have a chance to be successful in life. There's nothing wrong with being successful, but success is just about you. But significance is about other people. You see, that man that took that picture, he had success. That's one of the greatest honors a photographer could ever have. But obviously it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. So what's gonna be enough for you? You see, success is great. You can do a lot of things with it, but it's not gonna be fulfilling. But when you have a life of significance that's focused on other people, that's focused on the Great Commission, that is focused on bringing the love of Jesus to hurting people around the world, you have a life of significance and that will be fulfilling, that will be life-changing, it will be life-giving and I believe one day you will hear when you get to heaven, one day, good job, good job, that a boy, well done my good and faithful servant. And I think the greatest tragedy in life is we're gonna look back one day and say, I was successful in things that don't matter. I want you to be successful, but more than anything, I want you to be significant. And when you live for Jesus and you love people, I believe you're gonna have a life of significance.